Hi guys, it is Aoife from Freddy's Z Died Laughing and I'm here with a library haul. Um, so I told myself I wasn't going to pick up too much stuff from the library, that I wanted to read my own books um, for a lot of this year. Like I still was going to use the library, um, but I didn't want to kind of overwhelm myself with library books and not read the books on my shelves. Um, and that has failed because <laughs> I went to the library today and I picked up a good few books. Now in fairness, three of the books here I have are reserve books um, and they are all books I really, really wanted to read. Um, so that's fine. Two books I did pick up um, on from the shelves, but they are on my TBR, um, I think. Um, one of them definitely is anyway. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys what I got. Um, so the first book here is Shadow Study by Maria V. Snyder um, and this is the fourth book in the Poison Study series um, or the Yelena uh, series um, which I was reading before Christmas. Um, if you guys know I was rereading the first three. I've never read the fourth book so this will be my first time reading this one um, and I'm really excited to see where the story goes with Yelena and what she does and uh, how you know everything is going for her. The next book um, I have is one I'm really 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 excited for because I've heard amazing things about it and it's This Mortal Coil by Emily Suvada and this is kind of like a apocalyptic novel I think um, and it's about a disease that is killing loads of people um, and I think it was Kale over Kale's Corner called this Hunger Games on Crack which I feel like is the best description for a book definitely makes me want to read it so I'm really looking forward to diving into this one so excited to read it the next book is um, a sequel to a book I really enjoyed uh, in 2016 which feels like so long ago oh my god did I read the diabolic in 2016 I actually can't remember I think I did but this is the empress by S.J. Kincaid which is the second book to the diabolic trilogy series I don't know what it's going to be duology I'm not sure um the thing is I actually thought the diabolic was a standalone I didn't know until like a few months ago that there was even a second book coming out so I am very you know interested to read what ha or to read what happens in this one and see where everything goes so yeah I'm very excited um, and I should say both of these are like brand new I think I'm like the first person to read them from the library so that is always a bonus as well. Next book here is quite a short book actually I didn't realise it was quite so small um, and it's Miss Jane by Brad Watson um, and as far as I know this one is about a person who's born with both male and female genitals I feel um, and it's the early 20th century rural Mississippi um, and so I think it's just following this, uh, I think she identifies as a woman and uh, yeah, this girl um, as she kind of goes through her life with this birth defect which is what it's called in the back of the book, a birth defect um, and I don't really know too much about it, that's all I really knew about it when I put it on my TBR ages ago on Goodreads um, and that's all I really need to know about it going into it and I just feel like it's going to be a very interesting, nice story I don't know whether it's going to be a nice story or what kind of story it's going to be but I'm very interested in diving into it and seeing what it is actually all about. And the next book is uh, by a fantasy author I actually have his other well-known series but I actually haven't read it and that is Age of Myth by Michael J. Sullivan. He has written the uh, Rhyeria yeah, Rhyeria series. Um, I think of the first two Rhyeria books um, on my bookshelf behind me, but I have not picked them up yet. And this is his second fantasy series. Um, as far as I know, it is not tied into the Rhyeria world, I think, though if you know that, please let me know below. Um, and this is book one of the Legends of the First Empire series. Um, and yeah, I just I just saw it, like, and I knew, I know Michael J. Sullivan is a very, um, well-loved fantasy author so I was like well I'll pick it up I feel like this is the year already that's going to be it's going to be like a sci-fi slash fantasy and SFF year for me I can feel it I've already read quite a few fantasy SFF books um so yeah this is just going along with that one but yeah this one should be good it's actually not that long for a fantasy book um it is 400 pages so I feel like that is almost short when it comes to fantasy books so I'm looking forward to diving into this one again and seeing what it's all about because I actually have no idea what it's about and the last thing I actually have from the library is a dvd and it is uh the light between oceans um starring Michael Fassbender and Alicia Vikander and Rachel Weiss. um this is a book and as well and I read the book last year yeah last year I read the book last year I quite enjoy the book um, and I just do want to see what the film adaption is like so I just saw it in the library and picked it up because why not and the last thing I have here is actually not from the library but I got them today while I was visiting the library um, and it's just some magazines I picked up in the uh, bookstore um, and I just wanted to show you guys what magazines I got because I know some people really like to see what type of magazines and um, booktubers read as well so I just thought I would go through these and show you. So the first one is the February edition of Your Dog magazine. I've talked about this magazine before. I tend to read it quite a lot um, and this one again is 
just all those doggy tips and tricks that I like. Um, so you can win a canal boat holiday with your dog, which is cool. Um, I think this one has a little bit about Crufts, um, which is the dog show that happens every year. And I love Crufts. I always watch it on TV. Um, I'd really love to go to it one year. I always forget to book the time off and to like arrange my time that I can visit it. So again, this year is not the year to go to Crufts. Maybe next year. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, and you have a little Yorkie Terrier um, on the front. So that is cute. I'm um, looking forward to getting into this one. The next one I have is just the Irish women's magazine that I read. That is Stellar. This is the Love Issue. These are three um, Irish actresses. And I think they're all sisters as well, actually. Um, yeah, they are. And I think all of them are actresses, or she's definitely an actress. I think she's an actress. I don't know about her. And again, this is a this one has kind of changed a little bit in terms of talking about really, really interesting women's issues, I feel, that aren't talked about a lot in magazines. And um, like this one has the truth about egg freezing, which I think is actually a really great thing to have in a magazine because I feel like that is something that especially women these days who may might be getting married later or thinking about children later are probably thinking about so um yeah that's really interesting and this one actually looks I really love the colour scheme on this one right now um I think that's gorgeous uh so yeah and then the last magazine I got here is the first time I've actually gotten this magazine so I do not know whether it's that good and it's just the vegetarian living um magazine and this is because I've, I've talked about it a couple of times I want to try and be cooking myself more proper healthy meals vegetarian meals um from scratch this year I've been doing pretty well at it so far, uh, but I just want to keep keep kind of making sure I refresh kind of the, the recipes I want to do and kind of, you know, really, really trying, I guess. Um, and I just thought I would pick this one up and see what type of my, what type of recipes are in it, if there's any I can try, maybe can try a few. Um, this isn't a this isn't one I think I'll be getting every single month, but it might be one I might get every couple of months or three months or so, once I maybe go through each one and try all the recipes. Um, because I'm not like, I'm not a huge foodie or anything, so I probably wouldn't get too much out of getting this every month. It would probably be a little bit of a waste because some of the articles in it probably aren't really for me where I'm just picking it up just to get um, an idea for recipes. So, um, but yeah, I thought I would just give it a try and see how I go with it. Um, and maybe I'll get another one soon, who knows? Um, we will see. So that is all, everything I got from the library and all the magazines I got this month please let me know what you guys think below if you have read any of these books if you want to read them and um, and I will talk to you guys again next time